most improved player? All right. Uh, Actually, we all well, just get this top guy off. Who's okay. uh, Everybody's probably got Michael Porter Jr. Michael so. Porter Jr. is in the top three, for sure. Oh, we, should, we can all just, like, cross him out. Like, yeah, he's, he's a perfect example of good player that's about to probably be a starter, and now opportunity is higher than ever. So, yes, Michael Porter Jr. is definitely going to end up in the top three for me. Um, but, Derek, you said one of my other guys. Okay, Shane, he averaged 19 last season, three assists. I feel like he could definitely get into that 20-plus range where he's averaging like six-plus assists since the ball's in his hands more. He's definitely a guy that's given more opportunity now that Chris Paul and Dennis Schroeder's out the door. It's now his team, so there's number room for opportunity for him to win this award. Yeah, and he was, he was playing very well. Again, first preseason game, um, but he looked very good out there. He felt, he felt comfortable being the guy, which is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, got a, I got another Denver guy. I got Jamal Murray, man. Um, you know, Jamal Murray is a guy who can, who's as good as he is. We all know that there seem to be like a step and the playoffs, we saw it and it would be, you know, if he obviously he's not going to average 40 or anything in the regular season, but if he can take, build off that momentum and, and, and have some of those big games more often in the regular season, because he only averaged like 18 and six, you know what I mean? Which are solid numbers, but it definitely leaves room for him to step take a step and if he can be a 23 point score with seven assists or anything like that and that team is rolling like they you know they are and he may be flirts with an all-star appearance i think he could be right there in the conversation so jamal murray um it, it is is on my list as well yeah he's definitely point. a guy that could definitely get to that 23 24 range he's just always a guy that's always banged up and always seems like he's limping like mm, it always right. seems like there's something wrong with him but he uh, played through it all the time. But it's never too major, right? It's just yeah. like <laughs> no, no. He, bro, Coach Malone don't take him out if he, don't. He don't take him out when he limping. Like he can see the man about the them to break the leg, break his leg. He gonna probably just turn his head and act like he didn't see it. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go with the guy that I wanna. I wanna see you know prove something this year. Markel Folks for my. Mm. my I, I I I thought about having him on my. I like that. Yeah, DJ Augustine went to the Bucks, which I, you know, is a good pickup for the Bucks. But I think, you know, Markel has the keys now for the Magic. I think there's a lot of things you can kind of just overlook, like Aaron Gordon. He he's gonna be Aaron Gordon, which is a super good player. Jonathan Isaac, he he gonna miss time, but it, I think you can kind of just let Markel do what he does. And like I said, he's gonna have the keys now that DJ Augustine gone. So he had, I mean, he, he was he was he know had 14 assist mm-hmm. games, 28 mm-hmm. point games. Just that consistency. He only just, he averaged like twelve or thirteen. So I, I could see him going to like a nineteen around twenty point score if you know if he's slowing right. If so, if I, I agree. And um if it don't happen this year, is it is it done? Hell no. Like for him hitting a next step. No, nah, he's too young. Yeah, yeah, he's like isn't he like I'd nineteen, twenty? He's older yeah. than that. Yeah. No. He's what, twenty three maybe? Yeah, his jumper is. I think is just like the thing that kind of just holds. My nigga said nineteen. This motherfucker been in the league for like four years. <laughs> but hey, it, it, I think he kind of changed it a little bit. It looks more like it, it. It looks very similar to like Shay's jumper now. It looks like it's like a late release. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he hit like one or two in the preseason. So yeah, if it don't, if it go in, it don't really matter. You know, yeah, what I'm you saying? But, I care. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but that's that's a real good pick. I I, I can definitely see Markel taking a stride because somebody's gonna have to. Uh, for that team, you know what I'm saying? We always been waiting on Aaron Gordon to be the guy, but Markel could end up being the dude. I mean, they're missing some players this season, so they got some shoes to fill offensively. Like you said, DJ Augustine being gone, he was such a big part of the scoring part of their offense. Um, somebody got to pick it up, and it might be Markel. It might be Markel. I hope it's Markel. Um, another guy I had on my list is Bogey Bogdanovich. I was thinking about guys that were coming off the bench that will probably be starters this year. He already put up 15 points per game last year. I'm kind of hesitant because there are so many weapons around him in Atlanta that maybe he's not getting 20-point-per-game type shots. Um, but if he ends people. up getting that increase in, in shots, then I know he can average 20 in this league. Yeah, that's why I stayed away from people in Atlanta because there was just so many pieces. That's why I didn't go for Gallo for six man and all that. It just seems like the wealth is going to be spreaded amongst everybody to where mm-hmm. they won't, it won't be that one person besides, like, Trey Young. Right? Yeah, I was going to say, Trey yeah. Trey going to get his shots. Oh, yeah, Trey going to get his. I'm not worried about Trey. It's just everybody else. Mm. But uh, my guy was Thomas Bryant. Uh, He's playing with Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook gets his centers paid. Um, He's going to look real good. Last year, he shot 40%. He got Steven Adams paid. Telling his centers. Like, he got along. I mean, yeah. Steven Adams. You made Steven Adams look really good. So, I think he could do that with Thomas Bryant. Thomas Bryant. Did he get Serge paid? 
Because Serge is the one that got kept and not James Harden. I wouldn't say he got him paid, mm. personally. Because <laughs> if he got him paid, his ass wouldn't have been in Orlando the next season. <laughs> um, it, well, took, he, it, it took a lot to, for them to trade Steven Adams. They, they had to get rid of everybody. Yeah. Talk to me about uh, Thomas Bryant, though, d -Mills. That's your comparison, too. One of your comparisons in real life, d -Mills, Thomas Bryant. I just like in that pick and roll, pick and pop. He's a dude that shoot 40, shot 40% for three last season on two attempts. He only played like 36 games. So yeah. It's a small sample size that he got hurt. And I think if he can stay healthy throughout the whole season, he could definitely be a guy that's in that conversation. I like Thomas Bryant. I like him. He got it. He got some stuff to work on, but I like him. Hey, college check. What university d -mails? That's your boy. You know, it's funny. I just looked at him. It's a red jersey. I don't know. <laughs> so if I give you some hints, you'd be able to get it? Maybe. Big Ten basketball. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Eric Gordon. Oh, uh, Arizona? Oh, shit, bro. You said Gordon. Aaron Gordon or Eric Gordon? Eric. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hoosiers. Nope. Victor he, bro, he just told you the school. He just told you the school. IU. We're super close to him, oh. bro. Illinois. Indiana, bro. <laughs> oh, Indiana. Mike, why are you selling him? We could have kept going. Oh, I don't man. know how many more hits you could have gave him, man. You gave him the team name. He's like, Hoosiers I don't know. Is, Hoosiers is wild, bro. It's literally the team. It's like saying Lakers. And motherfucker like, Clippers? <laughs> hey, hey uh, another pick I had for MIP, which – I felt like both ways. I felt like he could either improve or this a dude we can kind of look at and be like, okay, maybe he wasn't all that, all that. But Jeremy Grant. Mm. Um, Jeremy, like, I've I seen him play, and he hasn't had, like, the best games. And I know it's still preseason. The minutes come, but, like, yeah. But if he's just trying to go to the route, like, we, he just wants to create his own shot and stuff like that, I don't know if he's that guy. You know, I don't know if he's a top guy. I'm going to tell you about Jeremy. This, this is the thing about Jeremy Grant, Mike. Mm-hmm. I know he went to Detroit for bigger opportunity, and I can't blame him because he got his 20 mil. Right. That's just the main thing. Um, but I feel like, yeah, I don't think he's that guy. I think his value isn't to go get a bigger role. It's to be the guy that he was with Denver. And I think eventually Detroit is going to benefit from signing him because they're going to move him to somebody who's really going to need him. Maybe it's like maybe it's the Hawks or some team that's just really going to need a guy that could just tie everything together, and mm -hmm. I think he can be that guy on a really good team, mm -hmm. but on a Detroit Pistons team that's trying to rebuild and mm -hmm. give minutes to Seku, give him in, you know, I, I, Sadiq Bay. It's it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. I like him though, but I just think his value is on a winning team, right? Like a pockets or something. Yeah, I definitely think he, he's the guy that he could have won MIP on the Nuggets. He would have stayed there, like he could have. His role and his impact with his still been seen. Well, Michael Porter Jr., Paul Millsap, Will Bard. Them boys getting healthy over there in Denver. Yeah, that was a long time. Like they got a Hawk situation. Uh, one more guy that I had was – I had Christian Wood on mine uh, because I don't know if he's going to start, come off the bench regardless, but I think he's going to put up better numbers regardless because he only averaged like 13 and 6. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody raved about him. I think with the money he got, they're going to make sure he gets enough opportunity to earn that money, and I think uh, – Easily, he can top 13 or 6 out there in Houston with a guy like John Wall for sure. trying to give him the ball. And then depending on the trade that might happen, if James Harden stays around, that's a playoff team. You know, they're going to get a lot of – they give a lot of love to winning teams, and he'll be on one if James Harden stays around. So that's a good pick.